thrilled to um, show the new logo, introduce the name, and pay homage to um, a big part of the culture and the, um, and the heartbeat of our city. Um, being able to name the team the uh, Capital City Go-Go is, uh, is a thrill. And we think the fans, through the research and are working with uh, all parts of the city, just said that this, as Chris said during the, the interview on television, a, a no-brainer, just a very natural name, and I think we'll be able to do great things with it. Um, <clears throat> we should talk a little bit about where we are in the build-out of the arena. Um, being able to play in a new arena, the same practice facility where the Wizards will play, uh, to put the go-go there, and also to, um, to have the Mystics play there. It's all part of bringing together that NBA basketball platform and having the three teams. Okay. Great. Well, thank you, Ted. We're uh, I'm Greg O'Dell of Vince DC. We're the Convention and Sports Authority for the city, so we're uh, we're so delighted to be in partnership uh, with Ted and with Monumental and with the mayor to create this amazing experience, this sports entertainment uh, arena. So, uh, as you all may have heard, uh, the clock is ticking. So we have uh, less than 200 business days to actually get it built, uh, but the crew is working extremely hard. Uh, it's going to be an amazing state-of-the-art facility. Uh, you'll see we'll top off this facility come. Uh, in January, and so then we'll then close the building, and so by September we will be complete, and we'll be ready for all the uh, wonderful monumental teams, including the Capital City Go Go as well. So we're very excited. Okay, questions. So for sure, uh, you know, one of the things we're going to do is uh, a lots of diverse programming. So we'll have concerts, and we will certainly have Go Go there as well. I wish I could tell you it was like real sophisticated. We brought in a third party. It it was a natural name. Uh, I bet you we had dozens of fans. But my seatmate and partner, uh, Roger Modi, showed me from last June um, a text from a good friend that said, "You know what you want to name this? The the Go Go." And and it it just was a name that we wanted to be respectful. Uh, and we went into the community and asked fans, asked people uh, who would be our neighbors, did they think that this was a, an appropriate homage to uh, music that we kind of grew up with, music that we felt good about. And um, we've been doing go-go nights here. Uh, we've been dealing with Chuck's family and, um, and last year's concerts was greeted like just over the top uh, successful and I just think that it's so endemic to our city and that's what we want we wanted a very very authentic voice something that was named that people had an immediate um, collect uh, connection to and so the name was um, was very organic everything was designed in-house we didn't have to go find someone to help us to create it and uh, we have um, unanimity that it's the right look, the right feel, um, the bongo sound, the percussion sound uh, is very, very natural to our city. And, and I remember the um, first year that I bought the Wizards and moved into the office here, looking out my window and seeing Chuck walking up the street, man. And he just was the coolest, just the coolest looking guy. I remember he had this great black hat on and the way he strode up the street and everyone running around him giving him giving him a handshake so it, it just feels right for us and I think the city will will bond with it Well, I think um, all enterprises have to reimagine what the world will look like in 10 years. And I think that the NBA, led by Adam Silver, really gets that the NBA is this platform uh, and has players and has brands that can be um, enjoyed on a global basis. And the, the platform will allow us to have an NBA team, 
a G League team, which will serve not only development for us, but to reach a younger audience. We have a WNBA team. We have an eSports team, which we'll be talking about on Monday. We have a summer league team. And, and I think you'll see more and more um, the ability to take all of these brands, all of these businesses, and turn them into data properties and make a mobile-first kind of world. And so the more brands that you have, the better. And for the league, I think that this um, whole discussion about one and done and how we develop players, what, what I envision is that the go-go will become very much like the Hershey Bears are to the Washington Capitals. That, that is a very, very strategic relationship. We put our coaches there. We have a lot of influence on the system that they play, the language, the training, the, the vocabulary, the, the, the plays, so that when, when someone comes up from Hershey and plays on the Caps, they, they're able to hit the ice running, if you will, because it's it's the same culture it's the same teaching system we haven't had that with the d-league everyone's basically a free agent in the d-league so i'm sure at some point there'll be a change in the rules maybe the draft will get deeper and then it'll be very very exciting where if one day you can sign someone out of high school or you know it's a one and done world and and the draft is deeper you put them in your your G League team, and now you're promoting, you're saying, go to St. Elizabeth's, go watch our future, you know, and, and maybe if you have a phenom, all of a sudden, the it, it's helping the big team, but it's also an ability to extend down, if you will, because those tickets will be much more affordable. We'll have about 4,000 seats in the new arena. We have, you know, 20,000 seats here for the NBA. Southeast, um, would you all be working together uh, with the organization and DC events to make sure that those Ward 8 uh, citizens um, are having ample, a fair chance to have uh, employment opportunities down there the facility? Yes, and I, I spent the day there yesterday, and Greg can talk, but the answer is absolutely yes. Yeah, I think it's very important on, on many levels, you know, the fact that we're going to be uh, in Ward 8. This is going to be a catalyst for the city. And so uh, both in terms of driving development there, but also in the immediate driving jobs for construction, but also jobs operationally. So it's something not only across the city to have residents, but specifically from Ward 8 and from, from uh, Ward 7 as well across the river is very important to us. And so further to that, once it's built, we hope that uh, not only will it be an amenity for those residents to enjoy all the programming, but we've also, we're also going to allow for for the residents to actually participate and do events in the venue as well. <clears throat> so, so we've uh, roughly probably about 10% of the events. So on average, if we do 50 of what we call the non kind of uh, professional events, then probably roughly around five events will be community events that they actually will participate and actually produce themselves or, or rent the facility. Um, well, the answer is yes, you want to open this up to the whole um, basketball world and you'll find diamond in the roughs. Um, we're, we're doing things like that for our arena football league teams where we have open tryouts. And it's amazing the talent that comes. You know, you played for a major college program. You graduated two years ago. You're working and you still want to keep the dream going. And there's an incredible amount of talent in the D League as it is, and by NBA teams embracing G League teams, uh, we should be able to um, up the performance, uh, um, the nutrition, uh, the training, and my expectation is that you want the, the G League to be the second best basketball league in the world. I mean, right now you'd say that the the uh, AHL and hockey is the second best hockey league in the world, and that that should be our goal as a league. And I think that for the fans to be able to go in a more affordable basis, a more community-oriented basis, we're going to be very focused on supporting all of the schools in Ward Seven and Ward Eight. Uh, we're working very, very hard with um, <clears throat> with 
uh, organizations like Martha's Table. In fact, we were there yesterday, and I, I went into um, the convenience store, and I didn't see a lot of, saw a lot of food, but I didn't see a lot of healthy food. And then we crossed the street, and there had been a delivery of a whole bunch of fresh vegetables. I was like, that's what we want. We want choice. We want to be able to use this um, great gift that we're working um, with, with the leagues to teach uh, moms and, and dads and families healthy eating, healthy living, and use the, the athletes as the exemplars to the community. Does the arena itself have a name it does not. Right now, it's the Entertainment and Sports Arena right now, but we'll obviously look for a more formal name and naming. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for coming.